Hi everybody, this is Brink Sega back and this is going to be another tutorial. This one is going to be on how to download and burn your own PlayStation 2 games. And uh, first off I want to say this is not using the CogSwap method. CogSwap won't work this way. This is using uh, the ESR beta pack which I find much easier. Alright, now first off I want you to download these five programs right here. 7-zip which will uh, unzip compressed files, uh, ESR Disk Patcher, and ESR Beta. They're both going to be part of the ESR Beta Pack on sksapps.com. Of course, I'm going to have all the links in my information. DVD Decryptor, which is going to help you burn the PlayStation 2 games, and HJ Split, which will join .001, .002, and etc. files. All right. Now that you have all those downloaded, I want you to go ahead, open up your browser, and uh, go to one of the websites I have in my information. I use snesorama.com. Um, you're going to have to sign up for the forums. There's basically no way around it. Of course, I think I have uh, two or three in, in my information. Anyway, you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to find your game to download, obviously. I'm going to download Sonic Mega Collection, if I can find it. There we go. Now this uh, particular collection is .001, .002, and .003 files. So you're going to go ahead and download... Ah, oh shit. Pops up, pop up so pain in the ass. Alright. Going to go ahead and download those files. And eventually, when they're all done downloading, you're going to get this bunch right here. Alright, now that you have these right here, you're going to want to go ahead and open up HJ Split. And of course you're going to want to join. And the input file is of course going to be the .001 file right here. Alright, it says it already exists, I'm just going to overwrite it, or actually it's going to change the file name, but hit start and it'll join those files into a .rar file. Uh, this is going to take a little while, my computer is very slow and has no RAM. Alright, now that your file has been joined, you can use checksum to make sure it was joined properly. Just open up checksum, find your file, and you're going to want to go to RER joined. And I'm not going to do this, it takes a while, and um, I'm positive mine is joined properly. But after that's all joined, you're going to have this right here. It's going to be a dot RER file. It's very simple, just right click it and use 7-zip to extract it. Let's hit extract here. Mine obviously has already been extracted, and it is this right here, the .iso file. That's an image. All right, it's uh, pretty simple right here. You're gonna close out of this, and you're gonna want to open up ESR Disk Patcher. I'm just gonna patch it, and basically allow it to be played on the PlayStation 2 without using Cogswap. So just open up that .iso file, and patch it. Actually, mine may already be patched, I'm not sure. Alright, it wasn't. Now it's uh, telling you it's patched it successfully. And that's about it for that. And uh, let me tell you, you're going to want to have ESR Beta R9B DVD Direct on your memory card exploit. So you may want to go ahead and do that. And after that's all set up, it's pretty simple. You're just going to actually open up DVD Decryptor and burn your uh, game. Um, the best DVDs to use are DVD minus R's. Sony almost always works. So go ahead and put your DVD minus R. Plus R sometimes work, works, but um, I don't really trust it. All right, now open up your .iso file and once again make sure it is patched.
you go. And you can verify if you want. It usually just takes more time. Uh, it's not a very important process. And you're going to want to burn it at four times. And you're also going to want to make sure, you're going to want to go to mode and make sure it's on ISO right. All right, now that you have everything set up, burn it on four times. All right, now that the CD is recorded at four times and everything's all set, you're completely done on your computer, and now I'm going to switch over to my camera and show you what you need to do. All right. All right, now that the game is downloaded and burned onto your DVD, the rest is going to be very simple. Just going to go ahead and boot up your PlayStation 2. So I can't see much again, it's pretty dark in here. As you can see, I have a framework boot. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a tutorial on that though, on how to install it, because uh, there's a lot of other uh, very accurate, helpful tutorials on YouTube already. So, all right, now go to your ulaunch elf. Just probably just boot up if you're uh, using your trigger disk. All right, now I have that elf file on here. All right, and all you're going to have to do now is insert your DVD. There you go. And if you're wondering why this is on ESR Beta and not CogSwap, uh, well, I fucked up my motor and the fin makes an awful sound, so safer to do it this way. Alright, you put your disk in there, and then you basically just boot up the uh, .l file. And then I'll just uh, keep this on here to show you that the game will boot. Oh yeah, note, it will flash a bunch of different colors. If it doesn't, uh, something's probably off. There you go. Oh, shit, I'll have my sound on. Well, either way, uh, that's this tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching.